Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about my February favorites. We're gonna be talking about the products that I've been loving lately. And I've got a lot of good stuff. I love sharing my February favorites with y'all and I love hearing what your favorites are too. So definitely leave me your favorites in the comments down below and let's get into it. So the first product I've already raved about on this channel, this is my new MAC face palette and I did an entire review video featuring this so I will leave that in the description bar down below so you guys can check that out if you want more information on this bad boy. But this is the MAC face palette. It is the contour and sculpt yourself face palette. It features a highlight, a contour, and four blush shades and this is the customizable six pan palette so you can build this yourself or there is an entire selection where you can pick this out as is for a discounted price. So I love this palette. I love it for me. I love it for clients. I think it's such a great value and I think it's such a beautiful face palette. These shades are so blendable, so pigmented, and I just think it's the best color selection and it's definitely my favorite purchase that I've ever made from MAC. The next palette I wanted to share with y'all is actually a custom palette. This is a large black Z palette and I custom filled this myself with all Morphe Brushes individual shadows. So every shadow in here is from Morphe Brushes. These retail for $2.50 each so they're super inexpensive and Morphe recently added a bunch of new shades to their Morphe selection and they are coming out with a lot of new products recently so I'm super excited to dip into those new products and share them with y'all but I have been loving this palette and I've been loving these shades. So a lot of the newer shades are these tones on the first row and the second row, those really warm shades up in here. And then these purpley tones in here are new as well. And I just combined all my favorite Morphe shadows into one palette. So if you guys would like an in-depth video talking about all my favorite Morphe brushes individual shadows, I would love to do that for y'all. But I just wanted to let you know that I've been loving these shadows. I think they're very blendable. I think they have great pigmentation, especially for the price point. These aren't MAC shadows. They're not Makeup Geek shadows. So they are a little bit more sheer than those shadows are. You do have to build them a little more. They don't blend as easily. But they're only $2.50 and I think they're really great, especially for that price point. So the next product that I wanna to talk to y'all about really took me by surprise. This is the LA Girl Pro Powder and this is a loose translucent HD powder. So this doesn't have any color to it. It is a loose, sheer white to translucent powder. This will work for any skin tone and it works really great for setting makeup. And this is super, super comparable to the Makeup Forever HD powder, which is my favorite HD powder ever. Perfect for setting your makeup. It really blurs out imperfections and it sets your makeup really, really nice. So this is absolutely perfect for me and I think that a lot of people would really enjoy this. It is so inexpensive, especially compared to Makeup Forever. I don't think this blurs out as well as Makeup Forever does, but it makes your skin feel so soft and so smooth and it feels very luxurious on the face. I love this for setting my under eye concealer. Nothing will crease with this bad boy and it just feels so good and you feel like your face is just like set and ready for a party. So I absolutely love this and I was really taken back because it is so inexpensive. A recent favorite of mine has been this lip balm. I'm such a lip balm junkie. I have so many chapsticks, lip balms laying around all over the house. I just love lip products and my lips are constantly dry and chapped. So I'm always looking for a good lip balm. And I've loved this brand for a long time. This is the Smith's Rosebud line. They've got the rose scented, the strawberry scented, and then they have the minted rose. And I love all of those, but this is a new one. And I'm not sure if this is just new to the collection or if it's just hard to find, but I found this on Sephora.com and it's the menthol and eucalyptus balm. It's so good, you guys. It's so thick and it has such a nice, like, calming scent to it. If you don't like minty scents, you won't like this, but it's that, like, eucalyptus spa scent and it's just so nice. I really enjoy this one and it's the same consistency that's very hydrating that all the Smith's Rosebud um, lip balms have, but I just really, really like this scent and I was very excited to see that Smith's had other scents because I had only heard of the like original ones. So 
I really have been enjoying this one and I really like this for nighttime before I be go to bed just to like lather it up on my lips and feel like I'm at a spa. The nail polish that I have been loving lately is the OPI Let's Be Friends and this is from the Hello Kitty collection. This is the most beautiful soft pink color and I know a lot of people have been loving this one. I've been following a lot of other bloggers that have been talking about this color but I am so head over heels in love with this shade. When I paint my nails I will sometimes do the same color like twice in a row but I usually like to shake it up because I've got a lot of polish options but I have painted this on my nails I am not exaggerating six times I have put this on six times and I love it I love the color so this is what the color looks like it's just really soft and milky it's the perfect light pinky white shade and I just think this is so flattering it looks so good on tan skin I love this on my toes I just love this color and I feel like it's very opaque for how light the color is. A lot of the time when you buy lighter shades of polish, they're very sheer and you have to put on like 10 coats to get the color you want. But this is only two coats and I really, really love the outcome. So I'm absolutely in love with this. I don't love Hello Kitty, but I'm living for this color. And I hope that when this color is like discontinued, like the Hello Kitty line, there will still be an option like this because this polish is just like my new fave. All right, and the glosses that I've been loving this month are by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I have not been a gloss girl lately. I've been very into like matte lips and bold lips, and that's just kind of the trend that everybody's into with the whole Kylie Jenner thing and every single brand is coming out with liquid matte lipsticks and I love that but recently I've just been craving a really good super glossy lip and I think these glosses are the best. I recently purchased Undressed, which is my newest favorite. I have had Dainty for a while, and today I have on a combo of both colors on my lips today, so I have both of these on. But the reason why I love these so much is they're super, super opaque. They're almost like a liquid lipstick that's glossy, so it doesn't have a matte finish, but they're very opaque. They're not sheer. You will see this color on your lips, and it's really long wearing for a lip gloss. Like, you can definitely feel it on there. Like it's a thicker, tackier gloss because it is so opaque. But I love that because it makes it longer wearing and it doesn't slide across your face as easily as a really thin gloss would. I wouldn't say this is like completely not sticky, but it's got enough stick that you know it's gonna stay on there. So I really love these glosses. And the two colors I've been loving are Dainty and Undressed. And all right, guys, that's it for my February favorites. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know what your recent favorites have been. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all later. Mwah.